Hi everyone, welcome to my video. I'm Doris, and I'm here to share with you about today's market updates. JP Morgan Chase warns that the U.S. economy would fall into recession by the end of the year. Two, Samsung's profit plummeted 69%, and global chip demand was completely frozen. According to the website of the U.S. Fortune magazine on the 5th, J.P. Morgan Chase warns that the Fed's continuous effort to alleviate high inflation will slowly penetrate into the consumer and job markets and trigger a recession in the United States before the end of the year. J.P. Morgan chief econo U.S. economist Michael Ferroli said the Fed is curbing growth and undermining demand to ensure that expectations of sustained price increases do not persist among U.S. businesses and consumers. Ferroli said the U.S. economy is expected to fall into recession by the end of the year, only due to the lagged effect of Fed tightening and signals from the agencies to raise the interest rates additionally. Ferroli predicts that rising consumer prices in the U.S. may not return to the Fed's 2% target until early 2024. The Fed used to stimulate inflation with zero interest rates and monthly bond market purchases in 20, early 2022, but after getting out of hand, it raised interest rates by 75 basis points for four times in a row. Eventually, the Fed raised the federal fund rate to 4.5% to curb inflation in the United States, which is as high as 9%. In the process, risky assets plummeted, with the S&P falling by nearly one-fifth, its worst performance since the 2008 global financial crisis. On Friday, Samsung's preliminary earnings brief showed that the company's operating profit for the fourth quarter, three months to December last year, is expected to fall nearly 69% to 4.3 trillion won, or $3.37 billion, from 13.87 trillion won in the same period last year. That was below analyst expectations of 5.9 trillion won the lowest level in eight years and would also be the second consecutive quarter of year-on-year -year declines in corporate profits. Quarterly sales fell to 70 trillion won, or $55 billion, down 8.6% from a year earlier. Samsung attributed the declining profits to weak semiconductor demand due to macroeconomic issues. For storage, demand fell more than expected in the fourth quarter, mainly as concerns about continued high global interest rates and a weaker economic outlook prompted consumers to adjust inventories to further tighten their finances. Regarding Samsung's latest results, COSA commented that, commented that although Samsung has always insisted that it has no plans to cut capital expenditures or supply, the rapid deterioration of demand and its deteriorating profitability means that management may be forced to consider the unthinkable, namely chip production cuts. With the global economic malice, semiconductor demand has entered an ice age, with rising interest rates, falling global stock markets, and recession fears. Consumer demand for electronics is starting to wane, according to an analyst by UBS, by measuring inventory levels in days. Chip inventories are at their highest level in more than a decade. This has a direct impact on Korean chip industry. Korea, South Korea's chip production fell for the fourth consecutive month in November, down 15% year-on-year, refreshing the largest decline since 2009, according to previous data from the Korea Statistics Agency. In addition, chip production fell 11% month-on-month, and the inventory surged by more than 20% year-on-year. Despite sluggish industry demand, Samsung is still adhering to a contrarian expansion strategy, increasing capital spending during the economic downturn to seize the market share. The company has expected capital expenditures of up to 47.7 trillion won, about $37.5 billion in 2022. Market analysts believe that Samsung is fighting back against monopoly competitors through high capital expenditures. The company's sharply increased capital expenditure and cheap chip production may exacerbate the imbalance between supply and demand in the industry, and the DREM, Dynamic Random Access Memory Market, will stage a massacre. That's all I have for today. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and like. See you next episode.